Welcome back to Culinary Classroom. I'm Chef Carrie Leonard and today we're looking at herbs. There's a lot of different fresh herbs out there, a lot of different dried herbs out there. There's a few that you should know and any good classical kitchen is going to have a few of these hanging around all the time. If you're lucky you have some outdoor space and you can actually plant these so that you can just go pick them when you want them. Nothing better than the freshest. Okay, let's take a look at what some of these are. Uh, let's start up here with mint. I bet you guys recognize this guy. He's got the real dimpled leaves there. If you put it, you can smell it. Oh, it's so good. It's mint, spearmint, and you can use, there's a lot of different kinds of mints out there that you could really use. Freshens up a dish. You don't even think about mint being inside of spring rolls and uh, some really light dishes, so you want to use mint. Uh, it's also great for mojitos, make a drink. It's fabulous. Then here we have dill. And this is uh, really feathery looking, and you find this a lot with seafood because it's a really mild herb. Um, also, this is where dill pickles come from, dill, dill pickles. Uh, so this is one of the herbs that we use uh, in that with all the vinegar and the other great pickling spices. So this is dill. This is uh, cilantro, and boy, has this gotten popular as uh, Mexican foods and Latin foods really uh, come uh, to popularity. Lots of cilantro. It looks like some of the parsley family though, so make sure you're picking up the right item. The leaf shape is a little bit different for each of the different parsleys, and they taste very, very different. Uh, some people think that uh, cilantro immediately reminds them of salsa, and other folks think it uh, immediately reminds them of dish soap. Uh, for some reason. So if you get dish soap in your mouth, you might not like cilantro too much. But this is actually used in a lot of Chinese food too. The next one is chives. And a lot of folks think that uh, chive is that thing like a, a spring onion is cut into chives. No, a spring onion is a spring onion. These are chives and chives are herbs. So they have kind of an oniony flavor to them, but it's much milder. So if you really want the real deal, and this is what you're going to find in classical French cooking, is real herb chive. Then down here, we've got oregano. Now this is something that your, uh, probably your mom, grandma, anybody making a marinara sauce has used lots of oregano. You can smell it throughout the house. It has that definite Italiano smell to it. So this is oregano. There's a, again, this looks a lot like marjoram, which is its kind of cousin. Oregano gives you that little bit more pungent smell than marjoram does. These are just so awesome. Working with fresh herbs are awesome. Um, between working with fresh herbs and dry herbs, it's going to take twice as much fresh herbs to get the flavor, but the flavor is so much better. Only work with fresh herbs at the end of your meal, where dry would be at the beginning of your cooking. This is thyme, super uh, popular. You're going to find this in just about every kind of herb blend that you can buy at the grocery store, which, of course, you're going to be making your own from now on. Uh, this is called thyme and little tiny leaves on here. And this is just a flavor enhancer. It doesn't really have a pungent flavor of its own. It's just kind of herbaceous and adds a nice uh, complexity to your dish. Tarragon. Now, tarragon's awesome. Uh, people experience tarragon a little bit differently. It has a light licorice smell and flavor to it, but it's a fresh licorice, not like black candy licorice, but fresh licorice to it. Also, a lot of folks uh, consider this to be lemony. It's a great way to bring uh, some of that bitter into some of your dishes, like we were talking about with the umami. So tarragon, we're going to be using this for a dish called Bernays um, in a little while. So this guy here is basil. I bet you've seen him many, many times. He is, uh, again, super popular again as Italian foods are coming up. Make a nice caprese salad with the mozzarella and the tomato and the basil, a little balsamic drizzle on that. Basil's awesome. Again, basil and mint go really well together. You can put those two together. It smells awesome. And boy, does it grow like crazy. So you can definitely have that in your herb garden. And this guy is sage. Uh, you might not recognize it by its sight, but you would certainly recognize it by its smell. It smells like Thanksgiving is cooking. This is the main ingredient in poultry seasoning. It's mostly sage, like dried sage or rubbed sage. Uh, this is a lamb's ear sage. It's just super soft. And you can cut this up. You can mince it up. You can put it in a dish. And all of a sudden, it's like mama's in the house. It is so good. So these are your really common herbs that you're going to find in any grocery store. you got to get familiar with these. The homework with this is you're going to go to your grocery store, and you're actually going to take a little bit. Don't tell my son so. And Put it in your mouth. You don't have to buy an entire bunch of herbs to get a flavor for something. I want you to smell them. Pick them up. Smell them. Look like the dork in the grocery store. So you start to get a feel for what these are. There you go. On our next episode, we're working on glazes and marinades. I'm Chef Carrie Leonard for Culinary Classroom.